Hello everybody, welcome back to Houston. So, we have some comments, and I'm going to be showing them on the screen, of course, as I do. But one of the primary things was that for the coaching staff, try to get an A or B plus, and don't really worry too much about team fit. So, I did that. I also simulated a few more games so that we could see if this guy would actually sign or not, and he did. There's also an NHL, I was about to say AHL, NHL assistant coach on the way, who will hopefully sign as well. Um, there's also comments about screw chemistry, just play the lines, like move Thomas up, I really want to do that, trade away a few players that are wasting away in the AHL, I plan to do a whole lot more than that, which I will show you today, wait, hold on, there's a game on Christmas Day, since when? Anyway, um, yeah, I went in free agent, try to sign some players, so I do have some trades I want to make, and before I even do that, I'm going to come to here, and I'm going to sign some players, because we're going to be making some moves, so... Defense, let's sort by this. Um, high top six, only 64 overall, but he doesn't really... Okay, sure, there you go. High top six, 23. High top six and 78 overall. Yeah, I will definitely... Okay, yeah, I'll still be an RFA if I sign up for the one year, so let's do that. Um, this guy's already 78 overall. He's 25. This guy's 22 and 75 overall. And what about, yeah, okay, so he's probably one of the better ones here. So let's grab this guy. Yep, that sounds good. Oh, I can sign up for three years and he'll still be an RFA. So let's do that. Yeah, all right, hopefully they sign. Hopefully the NHL assistant coach signs. And on top of that, I'm going rogue today. So I was looking at the trading block of other teams. And I'm going to be making some big moves. And the first one is going to be to Carolina. I'm going to pick up Suzuki. Yeah. He is a 78 overall center with medium top six potential. And he could be good in the AHL for us. So I'm going to pick him up and I'm going to try draft picks. I'm going to try to get a second. And what we will be giving up for that is going to be a fifth. And on top of that, of course, that's not going to go through by itself. A defenseman who I find is not really pairing too well. He's sort of dropping off in overall. And yeah, he's got 4.1 million. He's going to be a free agent after this year. Obviously, the cap will not let that go through, but he's on a one-year deal, which is to our benefit. So I'm going to retain 50% of his salary for this year, and that will allow us to hopefully pick up a very solid player and move up three spots in the draft. Let's see. Will it go through? No, it did not. Sweden is just a touch. Okay. So, yeah, I sort of figured we might have to give them a fourth. So let's actually go to draft picks and give up the fourth instead. So we'll be moving up two rounds. And there we go. That's going to go through. Cool. So we got Suzuki now. Go to roster moves and back best NHL lines. All right. So that is trade number one. Now trade number two, we are going to Buffalo. And we will be picking up, skaters matching the block, Victor Olofsson. Two years left, 6.1 million. Yeah, he's a sniper. We need a sniper. We need someone that could score goals. So hopefully that's our guy. And we're going to need to add Jay Beagle because of they have 50 contracts. And we're giving up two players here. So this one might be a little bit controversial. But it's making too much. Not doing a whole lot. See you later, Hurdle. He has not a lot of value. It dropped pretty significantly. Sure, he has three abilities, but he's a dash 18. 16 points in 35 games. Things are just not working. So I'm getting rid of Hurdle. And I will also be getting rid of Yoki Haru for this because it's 2.5 million, 80 overall. And yeah, I just don't really see us having a whole lot to deal with him in the future. So let's go and propose the trade and that will go through. Boom. Yeah, we got a sniper now. Roster moves. And let's go back because we are not done. Best NHL lines. The next trade will be, hopefully, they accept it, to the New York Islanders. So, I want to get a defenseman. And I want to get Pellick because he is 29. 5.7 is pretty good. Six years left is pretty extreme, but that will take him until he's 35. We could definitely trade him before that point if we wanted to. And what we will be giving up for that is, first of all, draft picks. We'll be giving up a fourth for next year. So, a fourth. Yup. And on top of that, right wingers, see you later, Rust. And left wingers, see you later, Lindblom. 
you're not being used by us. It's, you know, sort of unfortunate, but 4.8 million for what we are currently having as a fourth liner. Yeah, it's not too good. So let's see if this will go through. Trade rejected. All right. So I kind of thought that was going to be the case or it could be the case. So instead, what I'm going to do is I had a backup plan. To Boston we go. Where are you, Bruins? Boston. Yep. So skaters, wait. What? Oh, I was on our side. Oopsies. Skaters matching the block. This guy right here. Lysel. Yep, he is a top six forward. He's got two abilities. Left winger, sniper, only 20 years of age, and on the block. So I think this is a prime opportunity for us to go after him. And then on top of that, I am going to have to try to grab a player who is making a little bit too much, but hopefully only has one year left. So Yanmark should do the trick. One year left. Perfect. He can play in the AHL for us this year. And so can this guy. I don't know if we actually need the fourth. I'll add it if we need it, but they want both these guys. They want him gone. This might just work. In fact, I think it will. Proposed trade. Yes, it will. All right. This is a really good deal for us in Boston. Yeah, you're probably right. But I wasn't using either of them anyway. So feel free. Let's go to the lines here. Best lines. And let's see what we can do now. So Robert Thomas, 80 overall. Oh boy, that's not good. He really dropped off, but we can hopefully try to bring him back up. I'm going to send Yanmark down, which he might actually get claimed. I'm not going to be upset about that. And I'm going to send Lysel down as well. So let's do that. Right, Beagle's got to go on top of that. The defenseman I'm going to be calling up is Max Lejoie because he's medium top six. And he's left-handed defenseman, which we need. He's currently listed as a minor top two. But I've definitely seen defensemen that are lower than 78 playing in the NHL before. He should be okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Obviously, the only player there that has waivers is Beagle. If he gets claimed, then so be it. And now you can see why I tried to sign some defensemen. And if we go back to all skaters, NHL. And I would like to also just remove... Well, you know what? Maybe Yanmar could stay up here. Ah, oh, but do I want to put him... Because I don't really plan on using him a whole lot. So I'm going to try sending him down. If he gets claimed, then so be it. And he did not get claimed. No one took him. So he is in the system. Wait, never mind. Maybe he did get claimed. I'm confused. Unless that... Oh, never mind. He just dropped to 78 because he's pissed off about being sent down. All right. Cry me a river. Best NHL lines. There you go. So are we going to be good? Probably not. But we can try our hardest. That's for sure. Reinhardt. Ooh. I kind of want to do that. Have Reinhardt on the second line here. But he's the only guy listed as a first line forward. So probably shouldn't do that. Robert Thomas is still listed as a second line forward. Hopefully he can grow up a little bit again. Get a bit of his mojo back. Elliot Moose. He's on the third line. I'm going to keep him there for now. But if you check the special teams, he is first line power play. So he's getting minutes there. Don't worry about that. All right. And then we got Roslovic, Malgin, and Jones. That's pretty good. Defense. This is what we currently have. I don't know if I can spice it up a little bit, but I'm kind of okay with the 0, 0, 0 for now. As we did agree, screw chemistry. Jack Campbell at 86. All right. So I'm not even going to check the AHL lines right now because I want to advance a few days, get those two players, and then we'll go put them all together. So advance. No, thank you. Let's advance another day. And we got the coach. That's good. All right. Yep. We got him. That's good. I guess we need another day. Uh, we got him and we got him. Perfect. So let's edit the lines and let's go to the AHL and put those together now. Best line. So Zabenejad still going to be on the first line there. He'll be playing with Yanmark and Lysel. So that's a very good first line. But you know what? I'm really sorry to do this to you, Yanmark. I know that you just went back up and overall and all. But Suzuki will be on that first line. I can put you here though. I can do that much for you. So yeah, you'll be playing on the second line. Boom. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to move Hagel up as well. Because he is still only 25. All right. He can go there. Sure. Why not? And then defenseman. Kavanov up to 80 overall. Atta boy. Look at this guy go. The medium elite defender that we signed. And we got some good chemistry here as well, which is nice. Cool. And then Annette, we've got Scott, who does not seem to be growing a whole lot. But we have this guy we just traded to, or sorry, from Boston. Lysel. Fabian. Yeah, hopefully that will work out. Cool. 
All right. That is elite. That's good. That's good stuff. Let us go ahead now and simulate. See what happens. I'm probably just going to simulate the whole season. And we will go from there. So yeah, as I said, I went a little bit rogue. Made some big trades. Whether you agree with them or not, take it up in the comment section. But yeah, I'm totally fine with all those trades. I will sim up to here for now and see how we're doing. So here we go, Hammerheads. Nice. It's a great start. Love that. Amazing. We're so good at hockey, it's stupid. But I don't really care. If we do bad, we get a good draft pick. And I'm fine with having a good draft pick this year. Ooh, big win. That's what they get for not giving us Pelic. Well, we're making a bit of a comeback here, but we definitely did not get off to the strongest start. So that is going to be a big-time anchor. Penguins fired their head coach. See you later, dude. We just got smacked by both the Stars and the Hurricanes and the Predators. At least we got a win there against the Blues. All right, we're coming up on the trade deadline here. We still aren't doing so hot. We're not doing awful, but we're not doing great, that's for sure. Big win. Okay. We got a win over the Panthers there. All right. Well, let's just enter the deadline and see who's available. So let's keep the trading block as it is, which is probably nothing, and enter the deadline. Oh. Uh... That's that's going to be hard to get. That is going to be really hard to get. What? Okay, hold on. Let's go back. What are they? We got to be quick, though, because someone else returned. They want a first pick top goalie prospect. Huh. Well, I can give you a first pick. That's for sure. But I don't know. Does it have to be this year's? I'll give you next year's. Hopefully next year we will be good with Barzell. That is possible. What about goalies? Can I give... Di Pietro, the starting role. He's actually at 85 now, and Jack Campbell's going down. I probably could do that and just bring up another goalie to be the backup. Sort of let Di Pietro take over for now. I might do that. Jack Campbell could go. Houston would have too few goalies. You're kidding me. Well, what, what goalies do you have that we could bring back? All right, we well, actually have goalies you want to get rid of. That's perfect. That is perfect. One year left as well. That is delightful. All right, well... I'll try to take Jari because he apparently has lower trade value. And we're still not really close. I'm going to be real. But if we're getting a big-time center, we could get rid of a big-time center. And I'm thinking that might be Trocek. 86. All right. All right. That could work. Trocek, Campbell, and a first for Barzal and Jari. I don't think this will go through. Even though the value looks like it's there, it's going to be very hard to get Barzal. Oh! Okay. Okay. We just picked up a star centerman. Wow. That just happened. Get me out of there. I don't want to make any more moves on that note. Holy crap. Josh Anderson for Tory Krug in a second was another big trade. Miko Koskinen. He's 80 overall, but we just... Oh, that would have been perfect. We didn't even... Well, anyway, we have the other goalie now. So DiPietro is now the starter. And yeah, the, the boys aren't too happy about that trade, getting rid of Jack Campbell. But sorry, lads, had to be done. He was slipping and Mikey is really starting to step up. So let's do preferred lines again. Trocek is now gone. I guess I could technically play Reinhardt on the right side there. Uh, that's not going to work. What could I do here? Oh, that's not going to work either. Where is Tom? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Robert Tom. Whoa, what is wrong with this line? Well, I guess we don't really have a center. That could possibly nope that doesn't help either huh well what can we do here if i bring him up jt miller is still listed as a second line oh uh, this is tricky this is very tricky but i want to okay let me just do best lines let me mess around with the lines for a second and we'll figure something out but malgan is not staying here that's for sure all right i think we're going to run with these lines for now i'm really going to bet on yeah he's a playmaker so that's perfect i'm really going to bet on Robert Thomas getting his mojo back. And then we got Palmieri, Reinhardt, Miller on the second line. Boss, McLeod, Sanford, and then Jones, Roslovic, and Malgin. Yeah, all right. I can't believe we just got Barzal. That is nuts. I'm going to try to re-sign him right now because I think he was expiring. How's the AHL team doing, by the way? Oh, they are killing it. They are absolutely killing it. Stupendous. All right, view contracts. Let's go ahead. And I just wanted to make sure everything was recording. I was a little scared there for a second. That's a big move. He wants an extension. 9.5 million. Whoa. 
Why is his asking price going down? Okay. I mean, I could try to lock him up long term, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Two years. Uh, then he's going to want $9 million after that anyway, though. But you know what? If we can get him at two years at 8.1... That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty solid. He only wants one, but we could give him two at 8.1 and hope he says yes to that. Reinhardt is at 6.5. He's going to want an upgrade as well, but we can deal with him later. McLeod is not wanting a huge upgrade. So you know what? I'm going to try to just sign him for 1.75 actually. See if he says yes to that. I think we're good for goalies. Lejoie, you probably don't want a whole lot either. Oh, he wants a two-way. Okay, absolutely. Give you that. Well... That is, that's a huge, huge move. I can't believe that. And net, we have Jari, who's, yeah, we're probably not going to re-sign you. He doesn't want a lot. What the heck? Asking prices. Extension dollars remaining, 33 million. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> all right, in spite of not wanting extension. Oh, he doesn't want one. Ah, all right, so he's not going to sign for that. But anyway, let's see, all expiring. We have Reinhardt, we know that. These guys are all like AHL guys, so nothing to be too worried about there. All right. Amazing. I'm going to leave Reinhardt till the offseason for sure. But let's see if we get Barzal back. That would be nuts. All right. Advanced day. Come on. Barzal, you know you want to. We got McLeod. We got Barzal for two years. That's huge. Wait. Whoa. What? Even Jari resigned. Okay. And Lejoie as well. Wow. Well, this season might be an absolute dumpster fire, but you know what? Next year, I tell you, next year, we're going to be sick. Let's simulate to the end of the season. Just kind of see what happens here. We still suck, evidently. We're not doing so well. I wonder why we suck, though. You know, like what? what is causing us to be so poo? All right, continue. There's a win. Uh, if we can at least pull this back to be, you know, like 500 in the first two, that would be amazing. It looks like we might just do that. There's a win. And the Minnesota Wild have fired their coach. See you later. A big win over the Sens. Oh, if we had this team all year, man, we could have easily made the playoffs. Easily. All right. Well, let's continue on anyway. Sure. AHL playoffs underway. Matthew Barzell's gas because of ice time. I hope so. See who wins the Stanley Cup this time around. That's intense, though. That was a big move. All right. And now we have DiPietro as our starting goaltender. Hopefully he can... Hold in there. Golden Knights are the Stanley Cup champions. I don't know how much cap we're going to have, though, because of that big signing. But you know what? It was definitely worth it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, let's view progress reports. I'm actually curious to see this real quick. So, Barzal still 91 overall. Uh, Palmieri at 85. He actually dropped. Bouchard, 84. Boss is up to 84 at a boy. I love that. All right, at 83, we have Robert Thomas. He did start... Going back in the right direction. That's amazing. Love to see that. McLeod is up to 82. Also amazing. All right. Addison, Malgan, saying about the same. Kakinov, 79. Great stuff. Whatever happened to... There was another guy I wanted to check. Oh, well. Couldn't have been that important. What if we go... Actually, this is all the progress reports. So never mind. Yeah, cool. I guess we could check in the system and just see. Roslovic. 82 overall wait that's a glitch that's showing barzal's x factors but anyway yeah he's at 82 jones is at 80 frederick 79 all right this guy is at 78 the 78 zabenejad is up to 78 amazing who is that other guy we signed i'll know him as soon as it lysel there he is he's up to 75 that's good teal is up to 74 so he's definitely going to be in the ahl this year for sure. And then Suzuki. Where's Suzuki? He's got to be around here somewhere. Suzuki. Did I skip over him? There he is. He's at 77. Okay. And that is... that He does not have... The, does he? No. There's no way. He does not. <laughs> that is not for him. It's still just glitching out. But anyway. Yeah, that's pretty solid. And now it's showing Barzell with no X-Factors. Yeah, something is seriously wrong here with these X-Factors. So DiPietro is still unfortunately listed as a backup goaltender. I mean, we could maybe get one in free agency, but yeah, we ended up finishing 39, 37, and 6. So we really did pull it back around, but still did not have a great year. 84 points, which gets us second last in the Pacific Division. And if we go to the entire league, Carolina, wow, 62 wins. 
They are not upset about trading Suzuki away. Not that he was there, but yeah, they are definitely over it by now. Barzell, 63 points. Hopefully he did all right for us. I guess you can kind of see how well did he do just for us. He played 18 games for us and put up 26 points. And he only had 37 for the Islanders. So yeah, he did quite well for us, I guess you could say. How about Olafson? How did he do for us? Check out the stats for him. He had 32 and 47. That's pretty solid. That's not bad. I'll take that. Okay. Boss. He put up 52. Atta boy. He had 52 pims though. Guy's got to chill. Nice. JT Miller put up 45 points. Robert Thomas with 39. Okay. Well, let's check out the entire league quick just to see what's going on there. Actually, before we do that, where are we? Houston. We have a problem. Boom. Let's go to goalies. Yeah. Not, not very good. That's where we're lacking right now. He is not ready to be a starting goaltender. Okay, well, let's go to the entire league and check out the stuff from here. Robin Leonard had a killer season. Mike Smith with the Hurricanes, 45-12-3 with a 9-22. Pretty good, eh? And then we also have Shesterkin with a great save percentage, but let's go to all skaters. So Marchand, 106, wins the Art Ross. Patty Kane there as well. Cool. And then what else did I want to check? We can just check the playoff tree real quick to show you guys that. So there you have it. Now the question is, do we re-sign Sam Reinhardt? I feel like we do. He's our leading point guy. And we should have the cap for it, I believe. View contracts. And we have... Oh, yeah. We definitely have the money to get him back. For sure. For sure. He's going to ask for like $2 million more. Can I just offer an extension now? I might do it. Give him like 8 point, 8 .6 for seven years. That's a lot. But let's see. He might accept it. Okay. And then... We have the, the draft coming up. So advance a day, advance a day. Come on, Reinhardt, sign. You know you want to. It's still a tradable contract. All right, we got him back. And that also gassed up some of the boys. So sim to the draft. We could view the draft class. We end up with, are we, we're probably not even on here. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, we were, oh wait, yeah, we are. We're 12th, Never mind. I totally missed that. Okay, sure. Let's see who retired. We have Getzlav, 1,000 points. Congrats. Parise, Weber, quite a few players here. Weber has a bunch of abilities. In net, we have Brian Elliott, Dubnik, Bishop, and yeah, there's a few other goalies here as well. Cool. Well, it's the draft time. Getzlav is now a coach. Cool. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. So many pop-ups. Continue simming. Okay. All right. We are here at the draft. Let's view the draft class. And see what we have. And of course, SHL, SHL. And I'm pretty sure we don't have SHL scouts. Oh, man, that's one comment I forgot about. But I mean, those are the top two guys. We don't really have to be too worried about them. But still, let's go to the staff here and go to scouts. I probably just need to go to assign scouts again. I don't know why I keep missing that. But yeah, we do not have a single SHL scout. Amazing. I love that for us. And I can't even hire scouts right now. So we're going to have to wait on that but regardless yeah that's that's about it so the draft is coming up next we could try to move up in the draft but i don't really know if we need to this shager guy seems sick he's guaranteed to be medium elite and he's guaranteed to have three abilities serge jager at five so we could maybe try to move up for this guy it wouldn't be totally unrealistic we have a high top nine here that's guaranteed to be a high top nine. Nothing about abilities. Three years to being NHL ready. Okay. Uh, this guy is a medium top six. He might have an ability. Okay. He might have snipe. He's one year away from being NHL ready. So we could probably pick up straight or convoy. Shattenkirk, SHL. Know absolutely nothing about him. But yeah. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, that's a big acquisition we made there as well. With Barzell. I think we're going to be good next year. I think we're going to be very good next year. That was a step in the right direction. Boss is going to be moving up. Robert Thomas, I guess. I don't know. We're going to have to find room for all these guys. Someone like Paul Mieri might have to go. He's taking up the top six. And we cannot have that. Because we need some of these other guys going in there. So, anyways guys. That was intense. GM went rogue. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.